I think that looks better. I can read better. My good today, my good today, my good today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching from. And happy Sunday. I think uh, I received that all the time when people greet me. Happy Sunday. So happy Sunday to all of you, uh, the lovers of truth, the followers and believers of truth. The Maye Guns Diary political votrons, the people that will never take anything short of honesty, responsibility, dedication, and consistency. They won't take anything less. We don't settle for less of Maye Guns Diary. And that is why they are surprised. Ah, we're we doing it. They said, uh, Maye Gun, you have evolved. I said, well, I changed my friends. You know, when you change your friends from those who believe so much in a lie, and you begin to look for those who are more interested in the facts, which is the truth. So it doesn't matter how it is presented. It doesn't matter how or what uh, color it comes uh, in. As long as it is the truth that they can verify, then they will stay. And these days, we are getting bigger. We are becoming like, yeah, bigger and bigger. So that should be worrying for them. So if you see them attack us, it's not because we are doing anything wrong. 
it is because we are doing everything right okay that is why they come here that's why they want to shut the page down that's why they are coming for us but they won't be able to because we have now crossed the rubicon whereby we are now unstoppable unmatchable and uh, determined more determined than ever welcome to the moment of truth again it is just a catch-up it is just a catch up on what they are doing to themselves. As much as uh, we admire their own destructiveness of themselves, we must not underplay the effect, the consequences of their greedy, selfish, and personal interests. The consequences of that are the insecurity we talk about today the unemployment we talk about today the inequality we talk about today the greed and corruption we talk about today and it is far-fetched and like i used to say and i will continue to say right when i see or spot a thief i will call him or her a thief i am not going to one use the usual nigeria what about is him what about that person why are you not talking about that we know the thieves and i also know that nigerians as uh, they would love to delude themselves they don't hate thieves they don't hate corruption they only hate it if they are not the one doing it they don't hate oppression they don't hate suppression they don't hate any forcefulness at all they only hate it whenever they are not the one doing it to others and that is why today they will tell you my thief is better than your thief and today you will see the buaridins on the one part you will see the articulated morons on the other side they will be one will be holding umbrella the other will be holding a broom like a village uh, priest. And they will begin to tell themselves how best their own thieves are. They will begin to compare a bunch of bond slaves. That is the reality today in that uh, shithole called Nigeria. So you are welcome once again. We know the consequences. We know that uh, those who are destroying you and destroying the country care less about you they even care less about the country but one thing they are very very sure of and they're very certain of is that they know their audience and this is where we should all feel concerned because they say we should be very 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 careful and worried about foolish people in large numbers do you know why? In a democracy, they can elect a president. Do you know that? That is why a stark illiterate, a rogue, a thief was made a thief or thieves catcher in a shitty country that you are hugging right now as Mr. and Mrs. One Nigeria. One Nigeria. They milk you, they mortgage you, they sold you off. Then they turn around to psychologically tell you to pray for them. Who are those? Their partners in crime. The other criminals who knows how to read the Bible. They know how to read the Quran. They give all these their own interpretations. They put a whole bear sheet on their head and pretend to be men of God and all that rubbish. They go about dressed like they can, they can actually hear from God. They do all of this to wink you. They told you, you know this truth. You know the consequences of this stealing. But you must not do anything because God will do it on your behalf. And you foolishly, stupidly, and ignorantly, some of you selfishly, agreed with them. And then you bring in that your diversion, I mean, I mean, what do you call the diversion tactics you always use 
don't talk about men of God. You and your men of God, eh? If I tell you within my mind, I swear to God, you will begin to burn from now. Right from inside of you as you are watching me right now. You will burn until you explode and go into extinct. You and your crazy men of God, as you said. And listen to this. My presentation this morning is targeted at those who have either hide behind your tribe to lie to you, who have either hide behind their religion, your religion too, to hoodwink you, those who have hidden behind the fake political ideology to deceive you. I am targeting my message. Adam, not you. If you are a Christian, you should join me right now to condemn those I'm about to condemn because I'm going to use every manner of, you know, adjective that comes to my mind to describe them. And I won't give a damn how you feel about that. I don't give a fuck about that. I won't. And the reason is this. This is not about you. It is about those criminals who are hiding behind that your religion and before they bring ridicule to it let us separate them and join them with their other colleagues who are also robbing you picking your pocket killing you in the name of government i hope i'm clear enough and for those who are going to watch this later hopefully you will go back and watch it from the beginning as well. This is not targeted at you. But listen, I know I have been dealing with this for a while. The worries among you, the oponus among you, the alawokus, the, 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 the affair, what do you call it? The affair, kiot lunatics among you are still going to say this is against your religion or it's against your tribe. But listen, we will take care of you. Because you don't belong here. This is not targeted at your religion. It is targeted at those who have been using that same religion to hoodwink you. And they start from those who work with the thieves. You don't know what they do at night. In Nigeria, they categorized churches as charity organizations. They don't pay tax. But in the process of, I mean, under that cover, they went commercial. They started their own schools. They started these and they are making their own money. The most expensive uh, institutions in Nigeria to get educated would be to go to any of these uh, churches with their universities. But they don't pay tax. They pay nothing. They give back under the cover of uh, communities, society, whatever they call it. That they, you know, they can construct roads, they can decide to give borehole and stuff like that, but they have to keep everything, every penny that they make from the people in the name of charity organizations. That's what they class, class them as. And it is just the cover the elite give to themselves. You have a business to make Nigerians happy. Now the license be this, but you will do something or else we'll shut you down. Because you know what? Forget about this God, 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 God of a thing, okay? You are a charity organization by law, which means if you violate that, if you go to your church and tell people that uh, government is lying to them, if you go to your church and tell your people that uh, the government is stealing from them, if you go to your churches and tell, or you go to your mosque and tell your people that, uh, oh, they should revolt against the government, we will arrest you. We will revoke that license that we give to you. We will shut down that your, that your building. And we ask you to tell your God to come and fight for you. And all your pastors, all your imams, all of them who are currently everywhere right now know this. But they may not tell you. So therefore, you will never see them. They were so the houses they built, they called the houses of God. Were houses where houses they were supposed to be where you always meet the moment of truth. You will be able to say your mind. At least you are in the presence of God. I mean, the presence of God. God that is bigger than everybody, Abby, including the politicians, where you are expected to be honest and truthful. Abby, where sinners are expected to come forward and repent and never go back to their sins. These were the purpose, biblically, Quranically. You go into the God houses to, to, to seek for refuge and you know pray to God, Abby. A lot of things. 
but it has turned to in so many places it has, it has turned to business centers where they are now collaborating with uh, politicians and you will see pastors uh, mounting their their podium telling people that uh, we should pray for nigeria how many of you remember how many times they've told you they are doing prayer yakubu go on the one that uh, killed over 5 million uh, uh, Easterners in Igbo land called uh, the civil war, the genocide of the Eastern part of Nigeria where 5 million people were killed is today roaming about. He is collecting salary as a retired uh, president. Now he's flying about leading the campaign for pray for Nigeria campaign. Now they are praying for Nigeria while they are killing Nigerians. They are praying for Nigeria while they are stealing from Nigerians. They are praying for Nigerians and they are freeing terrorists in Nigeria who are killing Nigerians. They are praying for Nigeria. And do you see what it is? Because it's all ruse. It's all fake. It's all lies that every man of God, I have men of God on my page. I have, I have people who are probably, uh, you know, uh, not interested in that uh, multi-billion scam that the rest of them are into. I have, uh, I have uh, Islamic uh, scholars on my page. I'm talking about people who genuinely understand uh, what I'm talking about. But you cannot keep quiet and you cannot defend all this barbarity. We are politicians are given front row, the front seat in your churches, the front row in your mosque, simply because they are politicians and you know what they represent. They represent every evil thing that is happening in your community right now, from their counselor to their president. So how dare you lead that campaign? Some of you are not even hiding it anymore. You now even go public to tell people to pray, to pray for thieves, to pray that God should change their mind. And now you are seeing some gullible idiots, some gullible morons on social media, now saying there's nothing we can do. We have to pray to God. Do you know that that is an indoctrination? They indoctrinated people to begin to think that whatever is wrong with Nigeria is not ordinary. Whatever is wrong with their leaders is spiritual. And the only thing that can fix it is to pray for them. Why the lunatics that are stealing from you continue unabated? This is just an opening. We have not even started. So I have this and I like playing it all the time. It is simply for those Buhari Dins, Buhari Dins from Yoruba land. Eh? Let me have a drink break. I will be back to start fully on Oshmugu that we are now going to change his name to Maguluta King of Nigeria. And I'll break that down for you. A single man who oversaw the looting, the looting of over 550 billion naira. Eh? They traced 380 houses that were confiscated, but were never accounted for. 380 houses. He paid the pastor 573 million naira to go and buy him a landed property in Dubai. He is taking after the Buratai, the butcher, eh? chief of army staff, that bought two properties for his own uh, wives in Dubai. He is taking after Malamu, Malami, uh, the attorney general of Nigeria, the one that uh, arrested uh, um, Maguluta King. Malamu that gave $18 million to his own friends for just signing papers that they are going to receive a batch of loot to Nigeria. The same Malamu that uh, processed $110 million from a batch of loot to be refunded back to Bagudu, Abu Atiku Bagudu, the governor of Kebi State, the guy that was looting money for a batch of when Abacha was looting and, you know, uh, uh, terrorizing Nigeria, the same guy came back to become an APC governor today. And the attorney general of Nigeria, the Malamu that arrested the uh, Maguluta king, is here. And you, dumbhead, dumbhead, is more interested in the way I talk. You are only angry because of the way I present this. Eh? Shineke Pogyoku, take that to the bank. I'll be back. Listen to this. Moboju, waye, waye, shamala, mala. Moboju, waye, waye, shamala, mala. Moma boju, waru, kukulu, shubule. Moma boju, waru, kukulu, shubule. Moni, eh, 
Kini de si yoru ba u omo araye Kini shele si yoru ba u omo uduwa o Thank you. For those who understand Yoruba, you will understand what uh, that was all about. Um, I was asking uh, my friends to, I mean, my brothers and sisters in Yoruba land to think, think, think. This is no longer about you. It's about them. And whatever logic they have been using for years, it is time to dismantle it. We will dismantle it. We will. We will dismantle it. Oshmagu, which is now to be known as uh, Maguluta, Maguluta King, is, is, is an ardent, ardent criminal. Just like Bokuari is a career terrorist. The problem that Nigeria 